The next photo merge is the panorama photo merge. And what this does is it takes several pictures and then merges them together. Now I have two examples of this. We'll start off with our first example here. This is of the Wright Brothers Flyer full scale model. Left side and then center and then right side. In the room where this was displayed, I couldn't get back far enough to get the whole model in one shot. So I had to do it in three shots. You can see here's the, the window I'm right up against the back wall here to take these three pictures. But this can be fixed with the photo merge panorama. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that one. Under the enhance menu, the very bottom down here, there we go. And then panorama. This will bring up the photo merge dialog box. There it is. You have several settings and you can choose to perspective, cylindrical, spherical, collage, or reposition or interactive layout. I'd recommend going with the auto first and Photoshop Elements is going to take a look at the pictures and try to choose the best option for the best fit. If you're not quite happy with that, then you can try these different settings. The easy way to do this is to have your pictures already open inside of Elements and then just click Add Open Files. Also down below here you can choose to blend images together and you can vignette remove if there's any vignetting going on that you know, is darkening around the edges and you're going to do a geometric distortion correction as well. Always leave those off. Just do the blend images. Let's choose OK and then the program will get to work on this. is going to take a look at all of those files. It's going to overlap them, find where there are similarities and then merge those together into one picture. Notice how it's merging them on new layers and there we go. And I'll say yes on fill edges. And it's just going to extrapolate some information here and fill in the edges on that. Sometimes the fill works, sometimes it doesn't. We can always crop in afterwards if it doesn't work for us. Let that finish and there we go. So we have the whole picture now inside of this all pictures nicely merged inside of the one picture and it looks as if I am further back. Now notice that the wing looks like it's bending here. It's kind of a fish eye lens. Now because of that we may want to try a different merge. That will be our first merge. That's fine. Let's try something else. Enhance photo merge and panorama again. Let's try a perspective merge on this this time. And we'll open files. And choose OK. We'll go ahead and we'll take a look at this and see what we get on this second pass through. And there we go. It's thinking about it. And a little better. Still not really perfectly straight. But it's, it's getting pretty close. You can see we're, we're getting close to I could possibly come in here and do some more fudging on this thing and make it a little bit nicer on that perspective. We'll try one more shot on this one. And we'll close that one down too. Now the way to make this really work out well is if you can stand back a little bit when you're taking your pictures and then make sure your camera is facing front each time. So you have to maybe you know, walk to the left, take a straight shot, walk to the left, take a straight shot. You also want to have a good amount of overlap on your pictures to make this work. Let's just try the spherical down here, add open files and choose OK. One last shot on this one. And I have one more demonstration of this as well using different pictures, a little different effect. Here we go, it's aligning. Again, it's a little different as you can see a different way that it's approaching this based upon our different selection. And a little better this time, the wing isn't quite as warped. Again, it still has that fish eye look to it. So I could use different filters to try to get rid of that fish eye look. But as you can see, it does a pretty good job here of combining these. You really can't see where the pictures are merged together. It does a pretty good job. Okay, let's just close this out. And I'll bring up so another set of pictures here. And scroll down just a little bit. I have a series down here a little bit further. 
there we go. On these, I was able to, to walk towards the front, take a straight-on picture, take a straight-on picture here, and then a straight-on picture of the back. I was a little further away, and since each shot was right, you know, straight on to the side, this should be a much better merge of these three pictures. Again, I was constrained by where I was. I couldn't get far enough back to get a good, clean shot of the whole airplane. So we'll do this on this other version here. And again, I always try to start off with the auto layout. It usually is the best. Add Open Files. Choose OK. And we'll let this go ahead and go through and find its best solution. This one should work out very, very well. Again, because the pictures didn't have as much camera move in them. So the less you move your camera, the more you keep your camera in line with what it is you're taking a picture of, the better off it's going to be. And there we go. The fuselage is actually, actually very straight here. looks very good. You had to warp the pictures quite a bit, as you can see here, to match the perspective. But a straight line right through that stripe across the side, that's very, very straight. So it did a really nice job of coming in and fill, filling in this picture. Now, to be a little bit better on this, we'll come in and we're going to crop in on this. And let's, let's not fill in those edges. Do it like that. We'll crop in. And yeah, so you can get a nice a nice crop. It's pretty good to back out, of course. But there we got to do a little bit of fill up here. But as you can see, once we crop in, it really looks pretty good on this airplane shot. And it merged those three pictures together very nicely, giving me one nice, large, clean picture. And you can't even see anywhere up here where these overlaps are happening. Obviously, there's an angle right there. So one of the overlaps is right in here. And one overlap is right up in here someplace. And you can't see that. So it did a great job of merging those three pictures together.